Hey guys, we're here with a quick review of Gigabyte's new P57 laptop with the GTX 1070. The P57, at 6.39 pounds, makes the P57 the second lightest 17-inch Pascal laptop in a category dominated by monster devices. Some with the 1070 get over 10 pounds. The only lighter laptop is Gigabyte's own P37, at 6.17 pounds. The third lightest is Gigabyte's Aorus X7 at 7 pounds. So yeah, Gigabyte is definitely out to show they can do big graphics in slim laptops. Aesthetically, this version hasn't changed from the previous P57, sporting a black plastic case with orange accents on the side and the hinge. We do wish the case was metal like the P37 or Aorus line instead of plastic, but that would no doubt add to the weight and the cost. It doesn't scream gamer like some of the other VR-ready laptops, but it's not boring either. The huge backlit keyboard feels good, and the plethora of keyboard shortcuts are appreciated. Some of us are allergic to mice around here, so we're all about shortcuts. The specs on the P57 are solid, with an i7-6700HQ CPU and two 8GB sticks of DDR4 RAM. For storage, the P57 has a stellar 256M2 PCIe SSD and a 1TB HDD. The screen is a pretty standard Full HD 1080 IPS model with 60Hz refresh. If you want 4K, you need to move up to the Gigabyte P37 line. For 120Hz refresh rates, you gotta go to Gigabyte's Aorus brand. Battery life, like almost all gaming laptops, is pretty weak, though 4 hours in the real world is doable. In front of the laptop is an awkwardly placed optical drive for the 3 or 4 out there who still use them. But if you want more storage instead, just pop out the entire disk drive and you can plug in a 2.5 inch HDD or SSD with the included drive bay. While the optical drive is too retro for our tastes, we think video editors and others could really appreciate an SSD dock on a laptop. We do wish the bay wasn't on the front of the P57, it's a bit awkward to use on your lap. Not great for a laptop. We did manage to eject the drive just about every time we picked up the P57. Of course, this isn't a problem when you put in the SSD cage, so we recommend you do so right out of the box. It is portable, but as you'd expect with high-end components, battery life ain't great. The issue with gaming laptops is always graphics throttling, meaning when the graphics get intense, the GPU gets all toasty and tells the system to dial it back. On the P57, we didn't detect any thermal throttling, unlike the Gigabyte P37. The P57's slightly bigger size means big cooling and big FPS during long sessions. Of course, we're still talking about a 6.61 pound laptop. The next closest non-gigabyte laptop is 8.3 pounds. So the fact that the P57 didn't throttle, at least in our tests, is pretty dang impressive. As for benchmarks, the gigabyte hits some great numbers right out of the box. Now, while we didn't get any throttling, the laptop does get very, very hot. While playing Overwatch, the keyboard area bordered on too hot to touch. Of course, we're not gonna lift our hands and miss that play of the game. But for long-term use, we'll definitely be using a separate keyboard. When all's said and done, the Gigabyte P57 is a really impressive entry to the VR laptop market. It's not the fanciest laptop out there, and has some odd quirks like the optical drive, but it's a great all-around performer that's easy to recommend. Way to keep things slim, Gigabyte. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to subscribe, and stay tuned for more reviews on the way.